Hello and welcome students to 2.3 part 2. This time we're doing the game show prompt, which is that we basically want to declare 10 prizes um, and then when the user picks a number, the prize corresponding with that door is printed for the user. So as you can see right here, I uh, just do a couple things where I tell the user that there are 10 prizes hidden behind 10 closed doors. I pick a door to receive that prize and then I pick a number 1 through 10. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up all my different prizes. And here I'm just going to have them named as strings. I'm going to do this in a pretty simple manner. And I'm going to say prize one is a car. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that. Right. And so I'm going to basically just go through and name these all different cars. Now, this isn't very efficient. And that's 100% uh, a valid criticism of what I'm doing right now. Um, but this is currently the way that we kind of know how to do it right. We're listing out all these different prizes. And we're just doing this very manually. And then once we write our if statements later, we'll pick out of one of these. Um, but later on, you're going to see that there are a lot of different ways that you can do this. Right? And there's certainly much easier ways to do this that we will learn when we start talking about lists. Um, but as you can see right here, I'm just kind of declaring these. And another thing that I would say about this as well is definitely to talk to your teacher and just see if um, they want you doing this in a separate manner because of course there are much better ways that hopefully your teacher has shown you by now. And I'm gonna say headphones. So here the user is picking a number. You can see we have user number coming into an input and then we are converting that into an int. And then I'm going to say if user number is equal. So remember use that double double equal sign for a conditional where we're checking to see if something is equal to and we're saying if the user number is one then we're going to do like so we're going to go ahead and print congrats you have one a and then we're going to go ahead and add our prize one to it right and that's all we're doing so we're just saying hey if the user picks one go ahead and print out what with what they've done right what they've chosen you can see i do that in my print statement by combining the string that i'm saying the congrats you 1a and the prize one right here which is going to be the same as we have up there you can see they both highlight that's an easy way to check in pycharm right so after that i'm going to have another statement that is elif and i'm going to say user number is equal to two and remember an else if statement or elif as it's spelled here is simply checking to see um, if the thing above it hasn't triggered then we want to check and see if this one's going to trigger right if we were going to do a normal else statement then what we would be worried about is that anything after the number one is triggered instead i'm saying else if the user put in two let's go ahead and see what you know this is and of course since i am a lazy programmer um i'm going to go ahead and copy what i just printed i'm going to put it right here and I'm gonna change prize one to prize two, right? And then the interest of making my life even easier, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna continue copying it down. And actually I'm gonna make my life easier. I'm gonna copy that properly. And what we'll do once I'm done placing all of these is that we'll go ahead and change them once we've reached uh, what we think is 10. And I think that might be either 10 or nine right there. And I'm basically just going to change each of my numbers. So this is B3, this will be 4, this will be 5, this will be 6. Nope. 6. You can see I'm definitely typing off my keypad, right? Uh, this will be 8. If I can put 8 there. That's 8. This is 9. And this is 10. So then I'm going to remove all these and I'm simply going to, um, I'm going to be even smarter here and just copy these down. That way I don't have to, you know, kind of do the precision and you can see I'm just completely tearing this up. So I'm just going back up to each one of those prize variables and I'm just being super lazy. Just go ahead and copy and pasting them. And then for these, we'll just go ahead and do it the old manual way. And there we have it. So now the user will input something and it's going to print out what we have. So here, if I go ahead and click save and I choose to run it, so you can see it is running the incorrect code. So we're going to go ahead and right click inside here. We're going to click run. And then we know it's running lesson 2.3 because we see that selected. 
and it's going to say asking, it's going to ask me for number one through 10. So if I input four, I should learn that I have won a ball and I hit enter. We've won a ball and that students is how you do the lesson two, three, part two. Thank you all very much.